Okay. I was born in Oakland, California, in uh, May 30th, 1925. So I'm 83 right now, and uh, I came from a large Irish Catholic family um, in Oakland. My father was a funeral director, and I went after eighth grade. I went to the seminary. I went, that's what I my vision was to be a Catholic priest. When I came to Santa Rosa. I was appointed to live at uh, St. Eugene's, uh, just in residence, and I was working in the chancery office, the bishop's office. And I asked somebody, I said, where do the Spanish-speaking Mexican community uh, people hang out? And somebody said, there's a Mexican restaurant at the bottom of 4th Street. So I went to uh, this restaurant. And, Mazatlan, uh, I'll bet. Mazatlan. Yeah, I don't remember. And then I saw in, in the paper, there was... Um, uh, a notice of uh, a George Ortiz, uh, social worker from the Department of Social Services, um, was teaching English classes in, in Healdsburg. So I called him up and he got on the phone and I introduced myself as Father Gerald Cox and there was a long pause. <laughs> and George wanted to know what, what, what this Catholic priest wanted him about. So I, um, we, we agreed to, uh, to have lunch at, at, at the Sizzler restaurant out there on Steel Lane. And uh, George said that was the first steak he had had in years, you know. <laughs> he was on a kind of a meager diet, meager what, salary. What year was that, Jerry? Uh, that was uh, 62, 62, 63. And uh, so uh, through George, I came in touch with uh, particularly the, the Mexican community in Hildburg. And, and gradually, um, uh, at the same time, from the church perspective, I was the only Spanish-speaking priest in the whole, arch, the whole diocese of Santa Rosa, so I found myself saying Mass in Spanish at uh, St. Rose, and then I went to Yachtville, and I went to uh, Ukiah, and um, a few other places. So, um, and, and, of course, being the only Spanish-speaking priest, I, all of a sudden people got to know me, and then I was, you know, I, I did baptisms and marriages and quinceaneras and all that stuff. I had known a, another man in San Jose by the name of Lino Lopez, who was very active in, in the Chicano community in San Jose, and had done this organizing of student, uh, Latino student organizations in the high schools of Santa Clara County. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the idea, and so with Candido Morales was then a student at Sonoma State. And of course, I wore several hats uh, as a uh, uh, priest in the diocese. One of the hats was a director of uh, Catholic charities, or I called it Catholic Community Services at that time, and also the Catholic Youth Organization. So I had money, and I hired Candido, and uh, we went. He we went around, and we organized the Mayo chapters, Mexican American Youth Organizations. And one of our stars was um, um, uh, Alicia Sanchez. <laughs> and uh, Alicia tells a funny story that one of the things that we did every year was I had friends of mine in Mexico City and we chose one student who would go to Mexico City and stay there for a, uh, a month and just go around and see all the wonderful things that, that the student could see in Mexico City, all the museums and archives and so forth. Her father was a baker and uh, he, you know, he went to work early and slept late and so her father said, no, you can't go. And, and so she said, my father won't let me. So Mr. Murphy, uh, the Spanish teacher at Santa Rosa High School. Jack Murphy. Jack yeah. Murphy. And, uh, and, he, and I and, and Alicia went to her father, woke him up, and, he, and she, she, she said, uh, uh, Papa, the, pa the Padre is here to see you. <laughs> and so he got, I got up. And, and, uh, and so I pleaded with him. I said, this is an opportunity. We had, and she said, okay. So she went. And uh, so we've been, I haven't seen her for a long time, but uh, we became She's real, still around. She's still, still around, I know that, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, that happened, and we, from that, the, uh, and Candido would, would go and, 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 and do some leadership training with these. We went, most of the high schools in Sonoma County, we, we organized. And, and, and out of that, we, we uh, held the first um, uh, student retreats at Sonoma State, uh, where we brought in, and through my contacts, and I, I brought in, you know, some very prominent uh, Mexican leaders in, in the state, like a guy by the name of, a man by the name of Bert Corona, who was well known nationally, and a very enthusiastic, motivational speaker. And uh, we had, we had just tons of kids there, and we did that for, I don't know, four, five, six years. We were involved with the farm workers, of course, supporting the farm workers. 
Um, I'm, I, I picketed and within my Roman collar and all this stuff with picketed Safeway. For years later, I wouldn't go back. To, I just wouldn't go to Safeway anymore. But um, we organized a bus uh, of local Hispanics and the farm workers, and we went up and marched the famous march from Delano to Sacramento. We didn't march from Delano. We met the, the march uh, halfway there, and then we we, we, we on went. And George has a famous picture of uh, Caesar himself and myself and, and, and his office. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, so, and then there was Sister Donna who, and Ken Bubb, who was a... Ken Bubb, I Ken Bubb, remember well. Ken Bubb, they got yes. married. And, but as a Ursuline sister, she was very, very close to um, the Chavez family and would take kids down to Delano every summer and work with farm workers down there. Sister. That's uh, how we both got interested in organizing um, uh, the, Spanish com the Mexican community here in, in Sonoma County.